All right, how we doing? So, give you some bumping music. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, hello. So, here we go. This is another ye old uh, VOD review. This one, I'm not going to look at anything before the game at all. I'm only going to watch it and then say what I see as I see it. So obviously you've got Jarvan support, which is... I mean, it's it's not bad by any means. It's kind of similar to like a Nautilus or whatever, but with more poke potential. But... I mean, it's Jarvan support, so... You know. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, if I could, I would ask you which you if you would prefer, you know, seeing everything or just, you know, your point of view. But we're going to do this just because it's more beneficial for VOD reviews in general. So, I'll just have it playing, but we're not really going to look at anything here. So, based on the teams, Set versus Aatrox... You're against an Udyr, Yas Lux, and then you got Kaisa Jarvan versus Jin Zira. So immediately, just looking at it, where do you want to pass? What is your win condition? Well, one, you, obviously, you're always the win condition. Two, Aatrox can go pretty hard since it's Udyr and Set are permanently going to be on top of him. But the other three are going to be kind of difficult because Aatrox is similar to like Trundle and Trindamir where he's just better into melee champions. Um, he can still deal with the rest, but he's just better that way. Yasuo can be a win condition, but they're always super coin flip. And he kind of needs something to set him up. And he does have Jarvan. For the EQ, but that's about it. Kaisa is another really big one. So personally, if it was me, I think I would start on blue and I would path down towards the bot lane. Because at level 2, you've got a pretty big spike. Level 3, you got a big spike. And neither of these guys have any, you know, mobility at all other than their flash. And if you can get their flash initially or if your bot lane can that should be honestly just repeat ganks over and over and over again they have a lot of range so it can be difficult but most people don't use that early on but let's just watch what we do enough of that so you're gonna path up towards Aatrox obviously or possibly going towards Lux beautiful going towards the Krugs Demacian Standard here gives you attack speed for a long time, so that's super nice of the Jarvan. Um, honestly, if since you should be looking at your map already, it's not super prominent because you're level 2, but you can see that they're already pushing. So you could honestly play for a level 3 gank here. You go Raptors, and then you go Bot, and then since you're bot lane, you can either transition to this bottom scuttle or you can recall and go up here into a counter gank top because they're most likely pathing top. But go for raptors. I assume you're going to full clear or maybe transition gank mid. Okay, transition gank mid. Beautiful. So here, it's a little bit awkward. You're definitely not going to get a kill, but perfect. I was about to say, the only thing you're really looking for in those transition ganks is that flash. The easiest way to think about it is this. If you can get your laner the enemy's flash, in theory, you should just win lane for them because the opponent has to play more cautiously just normally because they're down that summoner spell and they don't have that escape. Lux obviously can play a little bit up, but... If Yasuo ever gets on her, she's kind of doomed. This is a perfect transition. As I said, the only real issue is that when you do this transition gank, you're a little bit slower to 
the scuttle crab, so you might be able to get, you know, countered. However, Udir is currently bottom, so this is free. We should be looking top. You see, it's slowly... Well, I won't say anything. <laughs> Which way is it pushing? Currently, it's pushing, obviously, towards his side, but which way is it going to slow push? Towards Aatrox. So it is pushing away from set here, slowly. So you can probably take this into Scuttle, and then the wave will probably end up being right about here, maybe, if Aatrox doesn't push it at all. But he's pushing it. Okay. So nice, we just go here. Yasuo's getting a little bit of vision. We know that Udyr's on the bottom side of the map, so we can go for a top or mid gank again. <laughs> wow, she... Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. I know you know what's going on, but here it was smart to walk up point blank. This is going to be a minuscule thing, and it doesn't matter as much. But since you can see that she's not reacting, you should auto once before you E, so that you get just a, just a tiny bit more damage. Um, obviously, she's got barrier, and you end up dying. So, oof, kind of an oopsie, but it's okay. Not your lane, whatever. So here, immediately, you go back down bottom side. Yikes. That's oof. <laughs> That's real bad. Um, but immediately you go back down here. I was about to ask where, based on your jungle tracking, Udyu would be, but he is showing. So, as soon as you take this, you'll be level 5. You can... Huh? You should be level 5. Why aren't you level 5? Weird. Okay. Um, Alright, well you get five here. Whatever. And then you go right towards the dragon. Okay. So, I'm going to ask two questions here. One. If you go for dragon here, why is this a little bit questionable? So, one. Your Kais is currently dead and your Jarvan is recalling on 1 HP. So, unless you're going for a bottom gank, you've got no backup coming. Two, Udyr was top lane when you were on Raptors. He's pretty fast just because of his, I think he still has his monkey stance or whatever it is. So he could be on his way bottom. Most likely he's right about here, I'm gonna guess, or he's in base. Wow, I was so far off, it's not even funny. Right, let me see. No, he doesn't have monkey stance anymore. I didn't realize that, I guess. Okay. Well, either way, he was a lot faster than I anticipated. Let's see, did he walk all the way? He did. He walked all the way through. So, let's see where you're going. Okay, you're going for a bottom gank. This is also a little bit scary, only because you don't know where your la or uh, you don't have your laner with you. You take this beautiful path through that mini fog of war. That's perfect. And you position behind. Nice follow. Okay. So I'm gonna rewind this. I'm gonna go slow. So first, this W is really good. This E is terrible. Why? And while you answer that, I'm going to bring out my thing that I forgot to use last time. Okay. So the reason why this is a less than ideal um, E this is exactly the same thing for Vi, Sejuani, Jarvan, 
anybody with a skill shot and especially anybody with a dashing skill shot so you were here he's here right where is safety for Jin? Safety for Jin is here, right? So he's automatically going to be probably trying to walk this way because you're coming this way. It's bad to throw skill shots perpendicular to where your opponent is trying to move to. And the reason is, just looking at this line, this is where he's going. The easiest way to dodge a move. So let's say your E here. The easiest direction, the quickest way to dodge a move is directly perpendicular. So he's already moving in the direction to dodge it. And if he ever steps back, it's super easy because you're only in this line. So what you should do is you should walk your way to him. And then he's probably going to be about here by that point. You throw your E in the same direction that he's traveling. This increases the chances for it to hit drastically. Plus, you don't have to do this at all given the fact that you're already kind of in front of him, if you just walk into him, what, what's he gonna do? He has to at least somewhat walk into you to get away. So I'm gonna play now, but as you can see, it causes your E to miss. You didn't auto attack before queuing. I'm sure you thought that would probably kill. Let me, let me rewind it one more time, sorry. So I'm gonna speed it up. So here, I know you're just going for the E. You should auto Q just because it's literally an animation cancel. So it's more damage. Here, I missed it again, sorry. The other thing, okay. So Q, you hit Q. Your W as a lease is an auto attack reset. So you should auto W, auto and then W immediately. You just hit W for the attack speed, and so you miss a full auto of attack. So in this combo alone, you missed two auto attacks of damage, which probably would have been close to killing him. The one would have gotten him even lower so that your execute would have done more damage, and the last one probably would have finished him off. So you follow with E. You can't can't get him you do have Q but I'm sure he's a little bit out of range that's why you step back so awkward and now because you had no backup and we don't know where Udyr is you can't go back in the jungle kind of awkward this bad boy is gonna make me lose my mind ignore can I move it <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm gonna stop dealing with that. So here, we don't know where Udyr is. Most likely, because the only objective on the map is Dragon, he's probably right around Dragon. I'm gonna guess he's in this little corridor. Oh, he's already on it, perfect. He saw you at that bottom lane play, he just started Dragon. So, in this exact same scenario, last time with Vi in the last VOD review, you pushed bottom with Rift Herald, I know it was a little bit later, and then you walked into the dragon. Here, you didn't walk into the dragon. You do have Jarvan, but it's okay, you can't take it anyway. should either take this Raptor Camp, which isn't up, or you catch mid. Very good. Focus on the minions, cool, don't die, nice. So... I'm just going to do this real quick. You're sitting on 800 gold. It's not the best thing to back on, sure. If you're specifically waiting for an item, okay, I can understand this play. However, here is one of those times you need to look at the minimap. 
and understand what you need to do. You just autopiloted here and went back to farming, once again, unless you're specifically wanting enough gold for an item. The reason I say this, Krugs are still up again. Raptors are up. You didn't see them when you passed by, but you should have saw on the minimap that they weren't actually taken. And so, or maybe they are. I don't know why it says it's up. Maybe I'm lying to you. Did they chase someone into the river? I don't know. Maybe I'm lying to you. Maybe they're not up. But okay, either way, <laughs> the bigger thing to point out is Rift Herald's up in 30 seconds. To recall, when you walk to lane after recalling, when you walk to about here, it takes 20 to 25 seconds. Your Elise with spider form gives you movement speed. It should give you about 20 seconds. Recalling takes 8 seconds. So it takes you about 30 seconds to get to about first tower or about this Scryer's Bloom. 30 seconds. <laughs> if you didn't walk here, if you just repelled and then walked here and then hit B. You hit B here, you will get to Rift Herald pretty much as it spawns. I know that was a long winded explanation of that, but instead you stay on the map. Gromp gives you basically full health, so it's okay. You're not as strong as you could be, but you are here immediately. So this is fine as well. I'm just showing that there was another option. You could have backed, spent your gold, and still gotten here at the same time, and then been able to clear all the way down rather than taking these two, going here, and then backing, and either taking these two in bottom or taking these two and having a staggered camps again. So, nice. Take this quickly, and then you instantly transition top. So, although this is good... The problem is the fact. Wow, he just didn't get that cannon. Um, the problem is the fact that because you just took Rift Herald, he knows. <laughs> T Rex is gaming Rex. Just really wanted that. So, I mean, I respect the attempt. <laughs> um, I know. I know this is going to be lame, but I'm going to give you an Elise tip. I know you know it. Spider form. Elise transforms into a menacing spider, becoming melee ranged and gaining 25 move speed. Can you E to allies? No, you can only E to enemies. So, if you turn into spider form here and then run... Fun fact, this E, even though it, he did dodge a little bit, I think you would have been in range of it, just because of the 25 move speed. And then here you can also change into spider form. Keep going, and you would have been able to catch him once again. <laughs> but I know you have, I believe you take water walking, so you were a little bit faster, but you would have been even faster still. Here you're just hovering, this is good, staying in the bush, they don't know. Nice little poke damage. And you guys slaughter him before he can take, uh, or use his W. So honestly, you should just recall here. You're probably not going to kill him, and Rift is going to 100% one-shot this either way. There's no reason to stay. This one is a loss of tempo, unless you plan to push the next wave with Aatrox. Which you don't, you just back. So, this is... Once again, kind of a small thing. Here, 957, you can just recall. You would be back in base now. But instead, you waste like 10 seconds. I know it's only 10 seconds, but you could have full cleared and probably been at Dragon exactly at 143 if you recalled a little bit faster. So here, now is yet again a pop question, pop quiz. 
looking at the map, what is the next objective, what's going on on the map in general, and where should you go? So, to answer one of those questions, Udyr's top, he killed the Rift Herald, so unfortunate. Lux is fully pushed up. By the time you get here, it'll probably be about back to mid. Bot lane, enemies missing. Okay, that's one. Enemy jungler, we already said this, is currently top. And three, the next objective is... Nice, dragon. 140, period. So... If you go bottom here, which is where you're pathing, you'll take these two, and then by the time you're done with this, the dragon will probably be spawning in 120. The only reason I would accept going here is if you're planning on going straight into his jungle. Rift into his. Or, sorry, scuttle into his. Because then you can go... Uh, Krugs into his jungle just because they're on the way and we know he's not there. We take Krugs, beautiful. And we transition down to bottom. This is okay as well just because they're pushing and you don't expect, um, you shouldn't expect Udyr to be here because your team isn't close enough. But nice. Beautiful. Right here, I'm just going to point it out again, you didn't use your auto attack reset with your W, and so you almost let uh, Jarvan die there for no reason. So you walk back in, Udyr is for sure here, yep. She stuns you, you should be able to E to this minion. Ooh, it's a little bit shorter than I thought, that's unfortunate. And then you die right before the dragon spawns. So this was a good play, until it wasn't. So, I'm just going to rewind. Here's somewhere you got to think. You get the Jin, you get the Xerath, and then you push the wave. Your Jarvan's too low to do anything. Your mid has no Pryo and there's no Lux. Top is obviously not coming, he's also pushed in. But he does have TP. Now thinking, thinking just in general... <laughs> Where was the last place we saw Udyr? Last place we saw Udyr was fighting Aatrox here. Meaning, by now he definitely recalled, and if he was topside, just as a general rule of thumb, that means his topside was taken. So he's for sure coming down here. He should be right about here or a little bit closer in the river. I know we just saw him come, but boom, he's right about there. And because the Lux isn't mid, you also know that she could potentially be roaming. You come in here, I assume you were looking at mid, and you weren't actually looking at your screen, but yeah, walking in there was just kind of goofy. So now, you're respawning. Udyr's mid, probably gonna kill this Yasuo. Just gonna run him down, yeah. <laughs> So I was just watching that because I saw you walking towards your red buff here, right? And then you see a play happening, which is a good transition. This is this is a support thing, um, where after you recall, supports pretty much should always walk down mid lane or walk through the jungle here so that they're close to plays. You were walking here just to go to red and it happens to work out and it's nice. Once again, I'm just going to point out... The whole time you're walking from base, you should be in spider form. Whoa. Just because you get a little bit more movement speed, a little bit more tempo, you're faster, you're around the map quicker. You would already be on top of where Yasuo is if you're in spider form. He gets his ulti. You do a little bit of damage. Kill him over the wall. Beautiful. Absolutely working this dude. Nice. He died. Who cares? Now you instantly walk towards the dragon. Good. You take Scuttle, that's cool. Get the dragon, and we clear back up. Going for red instead of Krugs here is fine. 
here Krugs is a little bit awkward just because it is away from the rest of your camps. So going back mid here is okay. So this time he's running this way. This way. So throwing your cocoon here is good. However, if he walked this way, it would be bad until you get in line with him and then toss it that way. So let's see how much closer it is, even if it misses. Boom. Right on target. He's next to a wall. He's going in that direction. Way easier to hit. I'm just going to rewind it real quick. I just want to show you something. So here. Boom. Here. You instantly W. You still don't do that auto attack. Ah, uh, reset. Ooh, you didn't follow me. You actually went away. And you can go to allies. I was wrong. Sorry. Blatantly lying to you. You abandon your Yasuo because he's way too far up. He should die here. Or maybe kill the Jin. He didn't Beyblade it. That's his fault. Mmm. Bummer. He <laughs> question mark thing just because he died. What a nice guy. Yeah, here you can just step back. There's no reason to do this. Let a dumb player be dumb. Okay. So here, <laughs> we just killed Udyr, just killed Lux. We know that Jin is low. Although you are kind of low, it is fine to just go for Rift here. Or you can go to Gromp first, or Blue. You end up going for, a, I assume, a full clear. That's fine. Boom, back to full HP, jungle's broken, full mana, yay. You go up for set. So here, I believe you're about to E. I think I heard the noise. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to slow it down. So, okay. Here he's fighting. Yep. And this is the same thing. You're going this way. So toss an E's a little bit awkward. He hits him with a tornado. So this is now is the time to bing bonk boom. Hit him. He's 100% going to get hit. I have to assume uh, you're eating Cheetos and your mouse slipped away from your hand. Now. It's okay either way. You kill him. Here, personally, I'd probably go for Gromp and then to Rift. But just because it's a little bit more HP. Unless you already did Gromp, I don't know. Had you uh, done what I was saying, you would have lost Rift. So nice, good, right to the objective. He's way faster than I think he is. I thought he was going to be about here. So, nice. You end up getting it. Chasing him is stupid. This is really dumb. You don't know where the rest of the enemy team is. And it's Udyr. Just, just back up. I know you got back up, but just leave. No point. You end up having to burn Flash because you walk back in like a goon. You live. You got Rift. You're chilling. So here. Pop quiz. How much money... Do tier two towers give you? The correct answer is 550 plus 50 for killing the towers, so 600. You end up going towards the middle again. I assume you're going to go here and then realize you can't take it anyway. So you didn't go to Krugs once again. It's kind of okay. You end up getting a kill. Sick transitioning down here Jarvan blast this guy so what you want to do what I do all the time but what you want to do is you want to get solo tower gold on uh, on the one of these so ideally you send it when you're totally solo obviously it's hard to do right now you're running Udyr is going to be a bit difficult to deal with but Nice Sanyas. You have a you just have stopwatch for okay. You go up. Oh unfortunate. Do you I'm gonna I'm gonna go back a little bit and watch this fight. You don't run Conqueror, okay. Er, I meant Triumph. So here. You go up. Okay. I was going to say you might have been able to smite him for like a kill, but nah, he wasn't low enough. Either way, super awkward. I think the correct play, 
this was nitpicking and it's, you know, hindsight kind of deal. Yasuo's coming for you. I know you're running away from them. You do have movement speed here. You could have walked up through the bush towards your Yasuo and then tried to kite back. Um, you were walking with your support. And then now this is up. So, eh. What I probably would have done is gone into spider form and then hit Zanya's. And then as soon as the Zanya's was over, I would have repelled. And then tried to probably go for the plant. But, I mean, <laughs> only so much he can do, right? Split second, Xerathalt was hitting you. It's okay. So now Dragon's up again. But because you skip Krugs, you can always go back down there, and Red Buff, buff is back up. So we go instantly towards Red Buff. They're taking Dragon. That's okay. So right now, you're not the carry. You have a lot of damage, sure, but Udyr has been stopping you at every, every instance. Lux is super fed. The strongest members of your team, I like the Zanya's Jarvan, that's very good. Um... Atrox has been splitting, so although he doesn't have that many kills, he does have hella gold just from this turret. I mean, this gave him two kills worth of gold just a second ago. Um, and he's been split pushing like all game. So he's very strong to play around here. Yasuo isn't. <laughs> he's okay. He's probably about as strong as you. Ish. And then uh, Kaisa. Kaisa's really good because Jarvan's been playing relatively around her, so it's better to just kind of hover if you can. You still have Rift, so here you should just be straight bottom. We know that they're here. You should just bing bonk. You Rift, cool. You're just distracting. And then... I don't know how much gold you got. Probably 300. You got a full kill just for hitting... You know, you're trying to keep. Yes, was a goon and he keeps walking. We have no pressure here, no pressure here yet. So that's totally his fault, not your fault. He's just a goomba. So go back to farming, good. Just step away. So here, this is a bit awkward. Your team is playing super far up, so ideally, you do want to just be hovering around them, even though your camps are up. But Yasuo is dead, so they shouldn't be here. This isn't something you would know, but she's sitting on a lot of gold. Everybody's sitting on gold. So, like, there's no reason to be here at all. <laughs> You're back doing what I said, just going for your camps. Let stupid people be stupid. Like, there's... You, even, even you doing this, this is you hesitating for a second to go help them. You doing this, like walking down here, is a waste of time. Just go back to your jungle. They're dead, for sure. You can't kill them even if you go. Sure, you might be able to save them, but, like, who cares? Aatrox still doing his thing. You're chilling. Right here is one of those times where you should recall. I don't know how much gold you're sitting on. 1,000. You should recall. Yes, Baron's up. Your Aatrox is on the map too far up. Yasuo just got back. He's probably going to die in a second. But your bot lane just died. You're never going to be able to pressure an objective they can stall long enough for you to get back and you have gold to spend you're never gonna kill this guy it's still udier just leave and once again you should be in spider form like 99 percent of the time just for more speed you end up going for a little pick didn't get anything it's okay you're hovering around here nice catch beautiful and you staying over here is good even though you're not doing anything, you're just blocking off the path, just in case they could. Yasuo's here, now you're pushing top. Well, you aren't, but the team is. So honestly, right here, you should probably catch mid, unless they plan to keep pushing. They plan to keep pushing, okay. This is ballsy. It's 22 minutes. Sure, one of them is dead, but one of you are dead. There's like no way you ever get this, unless they're stupid far out of position. You guys end up taking damage, probably one of you is going to die, and then you got to leave. Yeah, this is dumb. Just leave. There's no reason to be here. Ever. I'm sorry, this is the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. Spider form to walk away. You're, okay, so this is, this is an interesting one. When running away, 
spider form is better for speed, but you're thinner in human form, so it's easier to dodge skill shots. So running away, I think, is okay. But if you're far enough away that you're not going to get hit by skill shots and they're just running at you, change the spider. Every time. So let me take this. Cool. Okay. Top is pushing no matter what. It's got a super. Udyr is here. We don't know. I, I don't remember where the other ones are. Jin is currently here. Okay. Yasuo is coming. You can collapse. Because you haven't backed, you're sitting on 2k now. So Udyr has 7,000. You have 9,000. <clears> you are at the exact same strength. Just because you haven't backed. Keep that in mind. And he's probably stronger than you just because he's so tanky. We now see two here. You can collapse for Zerith or Udyr. Your team doesn't do anything. You get a free kill. No reason to keep chasing this at all. Wow. You guys didn't kill him and you died. That's not to anybody's surprise. Here, this is your fault. If you didn't chase this, your team wouldn't have went for it. Dragon's in 10 seconds. You're still sitting on 2k. Udyr is very beefy and has shields. There's no reason to do this. Just leave. This is pressuring too hard for no reason. Aatrox is dead. Kais is in base. He's a massive tank and you're sitting on 2k gold with an objective coming up soon. Like, I just said 15 different things. Just, just leave. So, let's see what happens. You guys are 100% going to lose the dragon unless Aatrox stops it. Kaisa jumps out of the, <laughs> the pit. Okay, he's, he, he gets him. Okay, Kaisa kills him. This is going to get stolen by Lux Laser. Almost 100%. Nope. They just give up. This is... They're just stalling for you at this point. Which is nice of your team. This was a free objective that you never had to fight over. At all. At all. This was free. They end up doing it before you get there because you're not in spider form. Fuck off. Okay, you get there. Hit him once. Turn to the dragon. Cool. Boom, this is free. You guys can go straight to Baron here. You don't need to push. Go straight to Baron. This is free. Straight to Baron. You guys should already be on Baron. There's no reason to even do this. Straight to Baron. He's still never going to die. Just... Go to, go to Baron. You can't push versus Lux, Xerath. Like, just go to Baron. That was free. Two of them were dead. You all work together. Just ping Baron here. That's the correct play. Instead, you stall around doing nothing. And now there's no chance to get Baron. Now some of you are probably going to die. Charvin gets out with 1 HP. He's going to die now. Unless Atrax saves him. Holy moly, that's crazy. But you died. So they're just playing the game. Your call right there should have been the good event. I know I just said it a bunch, but like, that's the easiest call in the world. Take one objective, two are dead, go to the next one. They're pushing off of the Aatrox. He's doing nothing. He's just waiting for minions. You get this. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't get the bottom of the head. Okay. You go back to camps. Sure, whatever. Get the scuttle. Put down a pink. You didn't get the scuttle. It's fine. You go straight to the... Okay, I'm going to rewind this. I'm going through the end fast because it's a lot less important um, than laning phase, in my opinion. But you go straight up for this Aatrox. No, you don't. You take blue. It's going up for Aatrox here is dumb. <laughs> uh... Just because you can take the scuttle, you should go to your team. They don't even have minions. I guess this is the only play for you to do. But you shouldn't really be anywhere around here. Just because you're not going to be able to do anything. You push the wave. They're fighting down here. <laughs> because you're here, you get the inhib. Cool. Alright. Your team is all dead. You're now sitting on 1k again. You should back. Everybody resets at the same time. 
everybody's back on the map at the exact same time with the same tempo you all can go to an objective together dragons up in a minute barons up now you guys can all just go straight down here take these camps pressure the dragon it doesn't really matter because we're at 30 minutes and no one's at soul point yet so it's kind of awkward but dragon for soul point is pretty pretty important you pushing mid here is good you're gonna get some vision i hope you don't step up any further than this you keep going we do see three bottom so you can maybe get, and gin top so this is i guess fine he okay i'm gonna rewind one more time this is just an important thing, so I'm going to stress it. <laughs> uh, dang it. So, here we go. You're walking. You, oops. You do your cocoon here, and he has to flash. Otherwise, he was, I mean, he, you probably were going to miss that. But, he has to flash, because he's terrified, walking in the same direction. Had he gone this way it would have been way easier to dodge had he juked this way it would have been way easier to dodge but because he ran straight towards his tower towards his base it was way scarier because you shot it in a straight line here you're pushing mid bottom's pushing anyway so it's good on you to go mid here <laughs> you catch the only wave that needs to be pushed because it's the only objective left on the map other than the dragon of course nice catch on the flash of the zerith Cool. You guys just end the game. Okay. So, I'm just going to reiterate it real quick. One, spider form. 90% of the game, you should be in spider form. It just makes you move faster. And so, you get around the map quicker for more plays. You're in position quicker. Um, I think... I think Dark Harvest blows... I think you should go electrocute for more kill potential. Um, this rune sucks. It's really bad. Uh, it, it, for the damage, because you're usually targeting one one person because you're single target, right? At, let's just say you're level 18, right? For the same damage as electrocute at level 18, you need 32 dark harvest stacks to match the same damage. If you proc Dark Harvest on two people, you need 16 stacks. Obviously, it cuts in half, but you need 16 stacks on two people just to match Electrocute's damage. Like, that's stupid. You got that at 30 minutes. Imagine how many more kills you would have had if you had Electrocute. Um, another thing that's big is your W auto attack reset. You get the attack speed, but you go bonk, bonk, and then it's uh, it, it's even quicker for your electrocute proc. Bada boom. Your pathing was better. Um, it falls off a little bit later in the game, and you still greed for holding your gold. Um, but all in all, I think it was much better for sure.